Won't you let the light shine through for you? Guys, come watch me. Welcome to the second episode of the GIF on 2013 career mode, and we will be doing the Malaysian Grand Prix today. And as you can see, we qualified ninth for the Grand Prix. Apparently, my driver's disappointed with that, just because my target was to finish eighth or above. So anyway, um, we qualified ninth for this Grand Prix. It's pretty crap result, but who cares? So let's here we are in the race in Malaysia. It's a cloudy race. Sorry for the slightly dodgy angle. You can probably still see the uh, car though. And so here we are in the garage of Malaysia. It's a cloudy race, not a rainy race, which is good. Because uh, it was a rain, it was a wet Q1, a, a cloudy Q2, but a dry Q3. <coughs> but it's a cloudy race. So we are with the setup: three one uh, wings, and then fifty one point nine there, three eleven. Same as Snicker setup, basically, uh, just like Australia, um, but a bit different. <coughs> now. Um, we're just looking at, we're just exploring again, I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. But we're just seeing that, it, as you can see, practice was wet, but we didn't do practice because it's boring. So anyways, we're going to the race strategy. Um, race strategy will, might be on lap 6, you don't know, but I was trying to reset the race strategy there, which was interesting. Uh, strategy, yeah, I think we might stay on lap 6 for the stop. I kind of accidentally changed my strategy to the options. Shit. Uh, sorry about that. I dropped something. Um, yeah, so I changed the price of the last news. And here we are we're going to the race of the Australian Grand Prix. So, the Malaysian Grand Prix. Here we are. Going to the race of the Malaysian Grand Prix. Going out on track now. And going out on track for the Malaysian Grand Prix. Pino lap 6. So here we are on the grid. It's Fernando Alonso who qualifies our pole position for the Malaysian Grand Prix. Ahead of, so that's, that's me in 9th place and then Paul DeResta qualifies in 18th for Force India. So here we are on the grid, <coughs> weaving our wheel, starting P9 beside Sergio Perez. We have the Lotus of Grosjean behind us and Raikkonen straight ahead of us. Five lights here in Malaysia. And it's lights out and away we go for the Malaysian Grand Prix. And it's a pretty good start from us going beside Sergio Perez. Coming down towards the first corner. And Grosjean absolutely goes swooping past us. Coming down towards the first corner. And there's two more cars beside us. Coming down to the turn one. Going up the inside of about three cars. Up the inside and goes straight between Rosberg. Coming round the outside of two cars there. Rosberg and Weber. And... But Vettel uh, fights it back for P6 as we are now right up behind Sebastian Vettel down towards turn 3 and 4. And here we go, down towards turn 4. Can we get Sebastian Vettel up the inside? But Raikkonen is going slowly down turn 4. We go up the inside of him. But now uh, Sebastian Vettel is now has, has really defended around the outside. And as you can see uh, on Steam there, the notification. There's now lap 2 of 14 here in Malaysia, skipping on to lap 2. As Kimi Raikkonen is right at the back of us, down towards the straight. And we just defend him off into on oh, down the straight and down to turn one. Raikkonen is looking back up the inside again, but he doesn't quite get the move this time. And Weber sets the fastest lap. It's a 142.269 for Mark Weber. But now coming to turn two and three. And now coming down the straight, lap three. And skipping on now to the end of lap three, where we I'm um, going to turn 14 here. And Kim, oh we've made a mistake into turn 14 and that will be two cars overtaking us. Weber and Kimi Raikkonen have overtaken us there. And we've made a big mistake there. And now Rosberg is out all over the back of us down towards the straight. And we just defend him off. And we go to standard mix because the engineer told us to. <coughs> and uh, here we go on the back of Kimi Raikkonen. We're coming to the pits because my tyres are so worn out. Like the tyre wear was horrendous in this race. I had to pit on lap 3 for God's sake. Anyway, coming into the pits now on lap <coughs> 3 of 14. Here in Malaysia, the tyre wear is absolutely terrible in this race. It's now changing to the hard tyres. The prime compound, the prime tyres, the hard compound, 
As uh, sorry about that. I was checking if the camera is still actually. I was actually checking if the camera is still filming there. But we come out in P18. They're just ahead. Just yeah, just ahead of the Cater and Michelle's pick. As uh, start that four hours coming out of the pits, and the engineer has told us to do one more pit stop. So we have to do two pit stops in this race. That's that's how that's how bad the tire wear is on this um the race. As now. Moving on to lap 5, the end of lap 5, and Paul DeResta is going really slowly out of the hairpin. We can try to go around the outside of him, but Paul DeResta is going to the inside line. Now we're having a real battle with our teammate for the first time. We're in P17 at the moment. No one's on track, but we have DRS and Kurz. Here we go. DRS down the straight. It's a massive shot on speed. Here we go up the inside of Ross, uh, of DeResta and Valtteri Bottas. We get them both into turn 1. What a move that was. A double overtake. And now we chase down the other Williams of Pastor Maldonado. Coming down towards turn 9, and now down into turn 9, round the outside of Maldonado, that is in the middle of lap 6, and we go, take him for P14, that's a brilliant move. It's now moving on to the end of lap 6, where Pastor Maldonado is right at the back of us again, with DRS. What can Maldonado do? Masters, it's a 141.4, what a time for him. Maldonado's coming on the inside of the hairpin, but Maldonado goes into the pit, so that's, uh, that's about to hit, that's, uh, um, ended that battle. There's now uh, we're, there's a lot of cars in the pits. Can we move up into the points? Here we go. We're, we're, we're coming up against Rosberg here. Can we get ahead of him in the pit stops? Can we go around the outside of him? Can we go? We got the inside line into turn two, and we take P10 out of the pits. But Rosberg is tapping me there, and that's horrible stuff there from Nico Rosberg. Is now moving on to the end of lap seven here in Malaysia. And there's about there's a few more cars in the pits. There's three more cars in the pits. We move up to P7. As that is a, uh, yeah, we've just moved up to P7, just passing the McLaren there. <coughs> now into turn one, and we're on lap eight. And Rosberg is looking up the inside. But now moving on to the end of lap eight, where Rosberg is right at the back of us, down towards the corner, and we're just trying to defend him off <coughs> as best we can. And now coming into the final corner, on the uh, we have the inside line on Nico Rosberg. But here we go, we go a little bit wide at the final corner, and Rosberg's trying to get us, but not quite there, and we hold P7 so, somehow. As now Rosberg's coming back at me, we have to pit this lap for fresh tyres, it's lap 9 of 14, and Rosberg has got past me on the outside, but into the hairpin we go, into the pits here in Malaysia, and here we go, into the pits for our second pit stop of the race, lap 9, and Lonzo with a 1.40! What a time from Fernando Alonso. And now coming to the pits for the second time in this Grand Prix. And, oh, we just wrecked up the angle again, as you can see. As we go now, coming into the pits for our second pit stop. Changing back to option tyres. And now coming out of the pits, it's another 3. Point, it's a 3.1 seconds up this time. That's a really good pit stop for the Force India. But now coming out of the pits now, and we come out in P14. Just behind John McVern. Now coming out of the pits now, and uh, we're behind Jean Rigman in lap 10. And we have four, uh, five laps to go now, as of course I made highlights. And now coming into turn 3 and 4, Jean Rigman is in front of us, down towards turn 4. Can we have a look up the inside? Because yeah, I break early. Yes, we do have a little look up the inside. We touch up a little bit inside, pod, and we get the move done on Jean Rigman. What a move that was! Wow! And now we're chasing down the other Toro Rosso, Daniel Ricciardo, coming into turn 11 and 12. Here we go flat out into turn 12. Here we go. We're pushing hard now and up the inside of Daniel Ricciardo into turn 14. We take the move for P12. And that's a brilliant, brilliant move. <coughs> but Ricciardo is trying to fight back there with Sebastian Vettel with the fastest up of the race with a 140.799. But we get Daniel Ricciardo. And now the next up, the next guy for us to chase is Nico Hulkenberg. Is now coming and moving on to lap 12 of this race, and we're, we were we were on rich mix at this point, trying to go for the fastest lap of the race, and uh, we um, eventually did get it. There you go, purple, and we get the fastest lap of the race with a 140.146. And there you are, as you can see, uh, coming up now. And there you go, as I zoomed in to show you that I got the fastest lap. It's a 140.146. That's a good time. And we just did the freeze as well. As here we go, moving on to the middle of lap 12, where we're right up the back of Nico Hulkenberg, coming down towards turn 9. And here we go, we've got the switch on Nico Hulkenberg. Up the, can we look up the inside into turn 9? 
He breaks so early and we get Nico Hulkenberg into P11. But Hulkenberg is trying to fight back here. Our front left tyre is gone almost. And that 12 or 14. What a race this is so far. As Nico Hulkenberg. Can we defend off him as um, where I realise we are uh, starting to run out of fuel so we go to lean mix. I realise my fuel is minus one lap so yeah. Anyway down to us turn 14. Down the straight. Here we go. Can Nico Hulkenberg get us back? Here goes lap 12. Hulkenberg is pulling off the inside here with DRS and Hulkenberg has got us back. Very aggressive stuff but can we go back up the inside of Hulkenberg? We can get the move back up on Hulkenberg into P11 and that's a brilliant brilliant pass there. Nico Hulkenberg is trying to fight for this points finish. As, well, actually, no, it's not even a points finish. And Hulkenberg, we just defend him off again. If we start the penultimate lap and going on to the final lap, and 21 cars in the race. Who is out? I think Felipe Massa's out. But this is down in 10th place. Felipe Massa's out. And that brings us into a dramatic points finish. Wow. We are up into 10th out of nowhere and we realise that we saw Felipe Massa has retired from this race and we are dramatic, we're out of nowhere, we are up into 10th place as now coming on to the final corner we defend Nico Hulkenberg off to take a dramatic points finish here in Malaysia to take in P10 here in Malaysia and it's a, it's been another brilliant race here in Malaysia wow, what a race that was we defended off Nico Hulkenberg, and uh, yeah, I just sorted out the angle again. As now, it's Ma it's not Mark Webber who wins actually. He came fourth. It is Lewis Hamilton who won the race because we saw it. So Lewis Hamilton wins the Malaysian Grand Prix from Fernando Alonso in second place. Then we have Sebastian Vettel in third. Then Mark Webber in fourth. Kimi Räikkönen in fifth. Nick Rosberg sixth. Sergio Perez seventh. Jensen Button eighth. Esteban Gutierrez ninth. We finished tenth. Nico Hulkenberg in 11th place, Daniel Ricciardo in 12th. I hope just waiting for me to skip. And then Roman Grosjean 13th, Jean Luc Verne's 14th, Paul Nuresta finishes 15th, Pastor Maldonado finishes 16th, ahead of Valtteri Bottas, then of Guido van der Garden 18th, Charles Pick, Jules Bianchi, Max Chilton, and Felipe Massa with a dramatic DNF on the penultimate lap. As the Drivers' Championship, the reason Sergio Perez is up there in third, it didn't actually happen in Australia. But uh, my profile corrupted just before this race again, so I had to do the Australian race again, and the result was completely different, but I still got third place, so, yeah, that's why Perez is up in third. So Lewis Hamilton leads the championship, I think, and uh, Alonso does, Hamilton third, so I'm in fifth right now, so I've dropped down to fifth. Paul de Rest is 14th, so Max Shelton's last, Felipe Massa's fourth, so here's the Constructors, Mercedes lead from Ferrari by two points, wow, that's close. McLaren in third, then Red Bull in fourth, then we have Lotus we have Force India at 6th, and, Sal and then Salba 7th, and Toro Rosso, then Williams, then Marussia finish in last, and then Caterham, of course. As now here we are, and we're not really happy with that. We were not happy with the result, apparently, even though we got a dramatic points finish out of nowhere. But still, we weren't happy with the result. Uh, because, look at that. <laughs> look at this, this is funny. He just pushes the camera away, because... <laughs> I just love that, anyway. Now let's read the thing. Uh, brilliant win for Lewis Hamilton. Lewis Hamilton showed the rest of the grid how it should be done at Kuala Lumpur with an emphatic victory. Lewis appeared to be calm and relaxed as he crossed the finish line. Perhaps this was the secret to his success this weekend? It probably was, to be honest. Teammates battled out. Kuala Lumpur saw drivers battling it out for position, but this weekend's racing highlighted the competitive nature of teammates as Combined Trooper and Paul Resta were determined to finish ahead of each other. Ultimately, it was combined that was able to find another gear and finish ahead of his Force India teammate. So hopefully you enjoyed this Malaysian Grand Prix. It's been another brilliant race and hopefully you enjoyed it. See you guys on my next video. Please like, comment and subscribe and goodbye.